Hello everyone, I'm in my greenhouse and I am gathering up some supplies right now because it looks like it's going to rain and I am anxious. I am itching to check off an item on my garden to-do list today. I want it done. So you guys know that one of the top things when you're getting your garden spring and summer ready is what? watering it's important so up until this point i've been extremely happy with my system everything has worked out great for me but i do feel like i want to change things up a little bit so with that i am partnering with hose link who I love. I've been using hose links since before I was even on YouTube. So the upgrade I'm sharing with you is in the length of my hose reel. I'm upgrading into an 82 foot. I had the 50 foot. So this is really going to get me to anywhere I need to be in my garden. You know, I'm moving um, the raised beds. I did move the raised beds right here next to the greenhouse. So I'll be able to water my beds and just get all around. So with the increased length of the hose reel i'm also changing where i mounted it you guys have seen my no damage installs where i've showed you how you can just slide it onto a galvanized pipe this time i am going to be mounting it off the patio directly onto the side of our family room using the screws and hardware they supplied okay so here is where i'm going to put the new hose link i think it's going to be super convenient you can see it's right here off the patio I don't have to crisscross across anything and I'll be able to get to all areas of my garden because with the hose link, it pivots and turns, which I'll be able to show you in a minute. They make it really easy. They provide you with this little template where you can just mark out where you want it to go, which I have done right here at the corner of the house. So they give you all the included hardware. Here is what the screw looks like. It has like the hex uh nut head on it so you need to make sure that you have the proper adapter there on your drill i have this it's a 10 millimeter nut driver adapter there it also includes anchors which i don't think i'm going to need but if i do need them i have them and there's some washers also so let's get this up shall we just to make life easier for myself i have this little adapter and it kind of slides over and holds the screw in place you see and i'm going to screw in a pilot hole with another screw just so i can easily get these screws for the hose link in it'll just make things a little easier for me just a tip for the future you know if you use a smaller screw to get your pilot hole started or a drill bit uh, it'll just make things a little bit easier for you and no i'm not worried about making damage to the siding here i use cup hooks and things for trellises i'm just not worried about it i really my main concern is making life easy for me and enjoyable for me while i'm out in the garden and while i'm working around so if in the future i ever did have to take this down i would just fill these tiny holes with a little bit of vinyl filler and then just paint over it before i forget don't forget to put your washer on before you mount your bracket so washer into the nut driver adapter and then we're good to go. This isn't going anywhere. <laughs> I think we got it. So the hose link is really easy to lift and carry to lift off at the end of the season to store away, which I highly recommend doing. Drain your hose and store this away, protect your investment. So there is a little bar and that just slides into the bracket like so. Now you can see, I can just fold it right up against the side of the house. Ta -da! my faucet is on the other side of our fence so i have a little piece of extension hose so i'm going to screw this on to my hose this is their quick connect look at this it's as easy as that i love it because if you've got weaker hands or arthritis or if you're just tired from digging or if you don't feel like fussing around and unscrewing you know your traditional hose 
I mean one turn. Line up the two white lines and give it a turn. And you can feel it click into place. Now it's locked. So let me show you. Firstly, I will show you the sprayer it comes with, but then I'm gonna show you a new for me sprayer that I am excited to use. And another little thing too, I just remembered. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm ruining my reveal by showing you everything all at once. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, so this is the sprayer that comes with your hose link. Okay, and it comes with the quick connect adapter. So just like everything that's easy, like I just showed you, the same applies here. You just line up your quick connect, give it a turn. Then you can shut the water off completely at hose at the hose level here by flipping this lever, which is also easy on the hands. We're not doing any of that grabbing that's, you know, going to get, get us all uh, tensed up there. And then the same easy glide thumb toggle on here, which is nice. So you can turn it off here at the sprayer or completely at the hose level. I love wands. This is the first time I'm using the hose link wand and it comes with the quick connect adapter right onto the end of it. And you just line up, give it a twist, just like everything else, super easy. And again, it's got the little thumb toggle. I love this because I've got my hanging basket, which is empty. We'll pretend there's flowers in here for right now, but it'll make, you know, reaching my porch hanging baskets and these kind of baskets. I like to just use the long reach, even on my shrubs and everything. You can get right there in the roots where you need to. And yeah, I, I appreciate the wands. So this is gonna be awesome. And another new item, new for me item, is a cover. I've never used a cover before. So they have these very chic and stylish covers for your hose link. This one is beige fern. Oh, by the way, the hose link comes not just in the two sizes, your 50 feet and your 82 feet, but also in two colors. So there's this beige that I like, and then there's a charcoal color. So that makes it nice too. They also have a new mounting bracket. Um, I'll share a link to all these things below. There's a new mounting bracket that I think is pretty cool. So you can use your bracket like this that it comes with, or you can mount it on a pole like I showed you where there's no damage, or they have this new flat mounting base where if you've got um, maybe like a, a pillar or a patio or something that you could mount it to a post um, right on top, it's, it's really cool. If I had a spot for something like that, I think I would try that. I like the look of it. Okay, so this is super fancy. This is what all the hose links are wearing this season. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, got it. Nice. I am styling and profiling, guys. I feel super fancy. Let's see, moment of truth. I love it. I love it. And it's got that nice soft spray. So, their standard sprayer has all of the options that we're used to. It's got shower, flat, mist, vertical, center, full, jet, cone. Did I, I, stop me if you've heard this one. I think I've said them all. Um, and this is more just like a gentle soft spray. I love this new spot. So much better than pulling it through my garbage cans. Here I am. I'll include links to all of these things, the cover, the hose reel, the wand, everything down in the description, but just full disclosure, it's not an affiliate link. So I don't make any money off of those links that you click. So if you wanna just skip the links and peruse hoselink.com and look at all of their offerings, I definitely encourage you to do so. If you do shop and you use code 
NJ10, you will save $10 off of orders off of orders that are $75 or more. So go ahead and definitely use that promo code. I hope you might find something that makes your life a little bit easier this season because it has certainly made my life and my parents' lives a lot easier in the garden. So that's it. There's my install. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.